How do you block low frequencies to your loudspeakers? This question comes from Butch. I love it. I love the name Butch. Um, in Columbus, Ohio, Butch writes, I have an integrated amp with a preamp out. And I saw your video on connecting a sub from the RCAs to the sub, because uh, I don't have high-level inputs, he writes. And that's a great plan. What I don't understand is how I can get those low frequencies to stop being sent to buy bookshelf main speakers, which are ELAC debut 6.2s. I, I don't see how the integrated amp intuitively knows that I set up a subwoofer. Should I install a filter on my speaker cable to the mains at the crossover point? No. Please don't do that. Um, many integrated amplifiers, especially surround sound processors, have the ability to put a high-pass filter onto your main speakers. But your integrated probably doesn't. And so you're stuck with having to run your speakers full range. And yes, you could go through some gyrations. You could use an equalizer. You could build your own little high-pass filter. I mean, a high-pass filter is nothing more than just a capacitor into a specific load. So you, you could do all of that. I don't recommend it. And here's why. Your ELACs are already designed to be full range. Now, I know there's a lot of debate out there. People are, they argue with me about this all the time. If my ELACs didn't have to make bass, they would sound better. And I would tell you that for the majority of loudspeakers that are designed well, and ELACs are generally designed <coughs> uh, very well, Andrew Jones is a, is a really good designer, he designed it as a full range loudspeaker, as full range as it goes. And that's how it sounds best. And so the best thing to do is to leave that alone and let your subwoofer augment what the ELAC doesn't have. Because every time you try and cut off the ELAC, you're going to add phase shift, you're going to do something that it was never designed to do. And I think in the end, you're much better off just letting it go all the way down and let the speaker designer, Andrew, um, let him figure out how to roll it off as best he wants within that specific box and for those specific drivers. So you're better off not rolling off the bottom end. And I know that goes against the grain for a lot of people, especially in home theater applications. But like even in my home theater application, I have small speakers. I let them go full range. I do not use the small, big, medium speaker settings. They go full range, and that's one damn good sounding home theater system. So let your speakers do what they were designed to do, go full range, and use your subwoofer to augment what they don't do, and you will be in sonic heaven. Okay. Thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow.